Today we will learn profit and loss. Rohit bought a ball at a price of rupees 90. The price at which an item is purchased is called the cost price. It is represented as CP. Thus, the cost price for Rohit was 90 rupees. Rohit sold the ball to Varun for rupees 120. The price at which an item is sold is called the selling price. It is represented as SP. As Rohit sold the ball for rupees 120, the selling price of the ball was rupees 120 for him. Varun bought the ball from Rohit. What is the cost price for Varun? Think, think. Absolutely right. Since Varun bought the ball for rupees 120, therefore rupees 120 is the cost price for Varun. In this transaction, Rohit has recovered the value of ball which is rupees 90 but he also received some additional money. This additional amount is called profit. Whenever the selling price is higher than the cost price, then in such case, the person earns profit. This profit is obtained by subtracting the cost price from the selling price. Here, profit is equal to 120 rupees minus 90 rupees is equal to 30 rupees. It means that Rohit spent 90 rupees on which he got profit of 30 rupees. There is a profit of 30 rupees on the cost price of 90 rupees. That is, there will be a profit of 30 rupees divided by 90 on the cost price of rupees 1, which is equal to 1 by 3. Similarly, we can say that the cost price of 100 rupees, Rohit will get a profit of 1 by 3 multiplied by 100 rupees is equal to rupees 33.33 rupees. The profit earned for every 100 rupees spent on the cost price is called profit percentage. That is, Rohit will get 33.33% profit in this transaction. The profit percentage is always obtained on the cost price. So, we take the cost price as the base. We write the formula for profit percentage as profit percentage is equal to profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100%. Now, let's look at another situation of the transaction. Suppose, Rohit bought an item for Rs. 90, but due to some reason, he had to sell the item for Rs. 54. Here, the cost price is 90 rupees and selling price is 54 rupees. Now think, had Rohit earned profit in this situation? Think, think. No, not at all. Since the cost price of the item has not been fully recovered in this transaction, therefore, Rohit will not be benefited here. Instead, he will be at a loss. When the selling price is less than the cost price, there is a loss in the transaction. This loss is obtained by subtracting the selling price from the cost price. Now imagine how we can get the loss percentage. Think, think. Like profit, loss also obtained on the cost price. So again, we consider cost price as the base. With this understanding, we write the formula for loss percentage as loss percentage is equal to loss divided by cost price multiplied by 100%. Here, the loss percentage is equal to 36 divided by 90 multiplied by 100% is equal to 2 divided by 5 multiplied by 100% is equal to 40%. That is, Rohit incurred loss of 40% in this transaction. So today we have learned profit and loss. In the next video, we will see other interesting examples on this topic.